The Uniformed Services University Military Tropical Medicine Internship was made up of three parts, taking place in Washington, D.C. and in Peru. The first portion of the internship took place in D.C. with Captain David Blazes. During these two weeks, we met with various government officials involved in global health representing government agencies such as USAID, the White House, the Department of Defense, the Department of State, and the Center for Disease Control. This portion of the internship was pivotal in our understanding of the United States government's role in global health, as well as the many career opportunities available to us in global health. The second part of the internship was also in D.C., where we were able to take a four-week intensive military tropical medicine course at USIS alongside military doctors. The course covered a broad range of topics including leishmaniasis, malaria, leptospirosis, and echinococcus, and even included lab time. The final portion of the internship took place in Peru, in Lima, Iquitos, Piora, and Tumbes. The Peru portion of the course involved rounds in public hospitals, seeing where locals get their food in the markets, learning about disease surveillance programs led by the Naval Medical Research Unit in Peru, and their work to research and prevent diseases like dengue and malaria, and understanding the conditions and needs, some very basic like clean water, of the Peruvian people in underserved areas. The most valuable part of the internship for me was definitely the two-week trip to Peru, where we were able to see firsthand all that we had learned about in the Military Tropical Medicine Didactics course. This was the first time I had traveled to a developing country, so this trip was especially eye-opening for me. I gained a deep appreciation of the formidable task that Peruvian doctors face daily in treating patients with many comorbidities with incredibly limited resources. The clinical experiences on this part of the trip were fascinating, as we saw cases unlike anything that commonly presents in the hospitals in the United States. Interviewing these patients and meeting with local community members helped us gain further insight into the challenges of implementing healthcare in these underserved communities. After my experiences this summer, I'm excited to pursue other international service opportunities in healthcare post-graduation and later on in my career as a physician. For me, I believe this past summer will prove to be one of the most formative, both for my future career and for my understanding of global health. Before this summer, I knew I wanted to be a veterinarian, but was still trying to figure out which part of veterinary medicine called to me. Our meetings with government officials involved in global health, particularly with USAID and the Department of Defense, helped me see a whole side of veterinary medicine I hadn't explored that I'm excited to pursue, uniting the health of animals and humans through the study of zoonotic diseases, biodefense, and so much more. And even though the tropical medicine course was geared towards human health, it was wonderful to learn about so many diseases, many of which are zoonoses, from experts in the field in such great detail. And of course, being able to go to Peru and have access to so many exceptional opportunities was the chance of a lifetime. I loved being able to go into Peruvian hospitals to hear and see patients with tropical diseases, travel and learn from such an exceptional group of doctors, and see the sobering reality of how so many people around the world receive, or, more often than not, don't receive health care. There were so many rewarding and amazing opportunities in this internship, and I will be forever thankful to Captain Blazes and Princeton for this opportunity.